Hi guys, my name is Eslyn and I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, today I'm actually filming from my parents' house in Florida. I want to change up my scenery a little bit and update, update you guys with uh, what's going on with me. Uh, last you guys knew, I was uh, taking pregnancy tests and they were all coming back negative. Um, I actually winded up getting my period at 15 days past ovulation, which isn't normal for me. Uh, usually I get it around 10 DPO. And um, so there was no signs of my period until then. It turned out that I did have a, a cyst in my left ovary. And um, I just wanted to run down my symptoms up until I got my period just because I felt like they were really strong uh, period. I'm sorry, they were really strong pregnancy symptoms and I really thought I was pregnant. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know some girls uh, do experience a lot of cyst uh, during their cycles and this could potentially just the ducks um, this could potentially be maybe something that you're experiencing and you maybe you think that you're pregnant so I just wanted to sh um, share my experience because maybe you're also going through the same thing with assist and you're maybe confused as I was um, so let me get started and I'm gonna jump to 40 PO uh, before that I didn't have anything like much symptoms so I'm gonna start at 40 PO I started to get some acne at 5 DPO um, I had watery cervical mucus and my nipples started to get really sensitive due to progesterone rising um, at 6 DPO I had watery cloudy cervical mucus um, at 7 DPO is when I started to get a lot of symptoms um, so I got a lot of cervical mucus and it was cloudy. Um, my left ovary started to be, uh, started to feel achy. I got a weird taste in my mouth. I mean, I guess that could have been anything, but, um, and I was very bloated. Um, and then at eight DPO, I was thirsty. My, uh, I still had achy left ovary. I was constipated and gassy and I was bloated. Now, that also is all due to high progesterone levels. It can cause you to be gassy and bloated and things like that, but those are also pregnancy symptoms. So, um, it gets a little confusing, um, but I was very bloated. And I remember looking at myself and I really thought that I was like, it, it honestly looked like I was four months pregnant. It, my stomach was just getting bigger and bigger by the day. And, uh, that's kind of not normal for me, so that was a little like weird. Um, so at 9 DPO, my boobs started to feel full. I still had the mouth pulling in my left ovary, and I got lightheaded, which was really weird. Um, I remember I was cooking, and then I just kind of got lightheaded. That is not normal for me. I've never felt that before. Um, so I, 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 I thought like, wow, maybe I really am. Maybe I just implanted or something, because I, I really felt like I was pregnant. Um, at 10 DPO, I again, oh, at 10 DPO, my symptoms started to get less. So, um, I, I had mal aching, like pulling in my left ovary, but it was much less. Um, it was much less compared to 7 DPO to 9 DPO, which was when my, my symptoms were strongest. And I really thought that maybe that's when I implanted. Um, and again, I was, I was bloated. At 11 DPO, I didn't really have any symptoms anymore. I was very bloated and that was it. Uh, 12 DPO, I was constipated and bloating. And then everything just kind of went away. Um, the bloating remained. My stomach, I, when I tell you, my stomach was just really out. Um, you know, and I'm like, did I gain weight? I'm like, I. I, my you know I really didn't gain weight I, I weighed myself like my stomach was just really really out there um, I had no symptoms of a, of a period coming I didn't feel my period coming no cramping no spotting I didn't get anything and I was like okay and my not pregnant my tests are coming out negative and then I was like well maybe it's just not showing up yet maybe I implanted late I just had like so much back and forth I really I, at one minute I, I was like I'm definitely pregnant and I'm not um, 
but yeah I had no sign of a period which again is not normal for me because usually I get my period around 10 DPO my spotting starts around 10 DPO um, now th what I did different this cycle compared to all the others was that I started taking B6 supplements and um, to extend my luteal phase just because it's, it's on the short side and I go back and forth between a short uh, luteal phase and um, I, I go anywhere from like 10 days I start spotting to you know I could start spotting at 11 DPO um, so it's always back and forth and I, w I just wanted to extend it because anywhere from at least 12 DPO to 14 is ideal so that you can give your um, egg enough time to successfully travel down the fallopian tube and then successfully implant into your uterine so um, my b6 complement uh, b6 supplements worked wonders and I highly recommend it if you have a luteal phase less than 12 days past ovulation and then you start getting a period I highly recommend to start supplementing with um, b6 um, so that worked really well like I said it extended it for five days for me um, if you're struggling getting pregnant um, I hope you are charting because that way you can see how long your luteal phase is um, but yes so I it turned out that having a cyst a lot of the symptoms are very similar to well, what I thought was me pregnant you know like the pulling in your ovary um, I remember when I was pregnant I remember that pulling and I was like oh that's that that's it that's I'm probably like I'm probably implanting right now you know um, but it turned out no because even after I got my period I still felt the pulling um, so what I did was I, I started taking um, systematic enzymes and I took three a day on an empty stomach 45 minutes before my meals and I no longer feel the pulling and um, my cyst went away and one thing I actually forgot to mention is that I got um, I was short of breath around 9 DPO and um, it was also the day that I felt lightheaded and those are also signs of a cyst and it's also signs of pregnancy so that's why I was highly confused and it's crazy how a lot of these signs as far as you know your period um, either if it's your period having a cyst or you know a pregnancy like those are, signs can be fairly similar and it can be really confusing um, this is the first time it happened to I've had cysts before but it's the first time it happened to me where I was trying so these symptoms were like wait a minute no like I have to be pregnant or you know so I just wanted to update you guys with what's going on with me because I, I know uh, I didn't get the chance to uh, tell you guys that I'm not pregnant even though I was trying um, from 10 DPO to 14 days past ovulation um, it, it happened to be a cyst so if you do have a cyst I highly recommend I, I did another video uh, completely on cysts and how to get rid of them so if you follow that process it does help eliminate or at least reduce the cyst because I was looking at this was uh, a few years ago I was looking at um, surgery which was one of my options and I really didn't want to do any of that so I looked into how to naturally uh, get rid of cysts um, and you can check that video out. I'll leave it at the end um, but also I use systematic enzymes and um, I'll leave the link down below of the one I used and what it does is that it helps the body reduce and break down and also prevent you from getting a uh, cyst and it helps the body uh, reduce scar tissue um, it also helps with circulation and uh, it clears toxins from your body so I highly recommend it um, it's worked for me in the past and um, I no longer feel any symptoms of my cyst and I complete I feel completely normal like the pulling went away and all of the like sensations I've also dealt with you know uh, assist um, rupturing which is extremely painful um, but anytime that I do these natural remedies my cysts always go away so I highly recommend to staying on top of that um, like I said I'll leave the video at the end and you guys can check that out as well so I'm gonna wrap up this video and um, I hope to see you guys soon with more updates 
Um, I probably should have recorded this inside. I don't even know if you can see me, but um, it's just um, there's not a quiet place in the house right now. It's a full house with my family, and um, it's nice and peaceful out here. So uh, usually I come out here to meditate and stuff. But um, I will update you guys soon, and um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. And if you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.